Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about how you can create your custom Mistral AI such as a custom GPT but for actions only. So in custom GPT what I like the most is this given button which allow you to add uh, given documentation, mostly an API documentation, in order to tell to chat GPT to perform a specific action. So by default robot will not execute uh, the request but if you are using an action it will uh, and at the end of the day it's nothing more than a python script which is executed with the library requests so in fact it's doable with what other uh, ai model you are using so it's not uh, rocket science so what i'm doing is like i ask to chat gpt and not mistral ai because the result was horrible unfortunately on mistral ai to produce me with the python script which will include in fact the knowledge base on which you get the entry over here so this is where the text need to be let's say because that's based on those words that the prompt will be able to match it with uh, the following sentence over here so this is thanks to a prompt and the typos normally can be supported that can be put anywhere within the sentence um, and of course uh, the richest i guess this part is in terms of semantic then the more chances that the prompt can match the following method i'm not sure if i'm clear here but uh, probably you if you know ai you will get the idea so uh, then after what we have is the instance URL, the token ID, and as well uh, the ID site, which can be uh, modified somehow depending on the methods that you are calling. And then over here you get uh, the user agent, um, which is what will make the interaction funniest, let's say. So um, let's go for it and let's uh, execute uh, this out. So of course you need to make a lot of back and forth from uh, ChatGPT to um, the script because the result that you are going to get at the beginning from ChatGPT will not be good. So like it will not be able, for example, in my case, to understand the typo and stuff. So you need to copy and paste those errors, send them back to ChatGPT and ask it to change the script. And once uh, you have finished all that, then you can um, ask it to uh, change and put Mistral AI instead of ChatGPT in order to get a Mistral AI script. So uh, let's see how it looks like. So you execute the script. In my case, I'm going to ask for the instance URL. So why is it asking the instance URL? The thing is like we want to make the prompt which is as simple as possible. If we were not asking for those information, we will need to insert them within the prompt, which makes it a bit more complicated to analyze. And I want it to be focused on uh, the ended result. So then you need the token ID. And as well, those information are things that normally when you integrate them within Matmo can be pushed as environmental uh, variable, which means that you don't need to insert them. I decide one. OK, so now he's welcoming us and telling us, OK, what do you want to do? So if you just type settings, it's going to uh, request it. But you can say, what are the settings of my Matomo? And as you can see, it's making as well the same uh, magic. Then let's make a typo. OK, here, if you make a typo, that's not going to work. Um, so that's typically, I guess, the kind of thing that we can maybe work around. Uh, so what are how are my settings defined matter? How are my settings defined matter? I'm making a typo on purpose in order to see if it's going to support it or not. Uh, so here you can see that it's not working, so it doesn't find in the knowledge base the corresponding information. If I just type a version then this is working. Uh, give me the version of Matmo. And here as well, you can see that it's not, uh, it's not working as expected. So it's working in some cases, as you can see, when the word is exactly the same, uh, lowercase or uppercase doesn't really matter. But here, I guess what I need to add more 
is maybe more semantic uh, in the entry. But for the rest, as you can see, the request is properly executed and giving me the value that I expect uh, for Matomo. So typically that was the case over here. And if I just type yes, Matomo version, as you can see, it's giving it to me. So the idea afterwards is to work with other methods such as create me an annotation, uh, create me a segment, and whatever other uh, methods that you would like to send to Matomo.